Hi, we're getting close to releasing Ubuntu 12.04 at the end of April and uh, I wanted to make a little video that makes it um, clear how we'd like the community to get involved in uh, testing 12.04 before we put the release out. Um, and so this just covers the, the basics of uh, how you get going for testing Unity on 12.04. Now, of course, 1204 is not released yet. It's a development version, so um, there's the possibility that things might break uh, between now and release day. And so uh, it's probably best if you're going to do this testing, uh, not to do it on your only production machine. Um, maybe if you do a dual boot setup, that would be good. Or if you're lucky enough to have more than one computer, you could do the tests on another machine. Uh, stuff does sometimes break, so you need to be aware of that. And that's why we recommend you don't run it on a productive machine right now. Testing does take a little bit of time. Um, uh, something like an hour or two I would set aside uh, for doing this testing. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's not actually difficult. You're just following instructions, and I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, but once you've uh, found maybe a bug, then uh, that takes a little while to uh, file the bug. It takes a few minutes per bug, so obviously the more bugs you find, the longer it's going to take you. And it's not a fire and forget process. We don't expect people to just create bugs and then forget all about them. Um, it would be great if you could engage with the developers and uh, if they ask you to try different things, maybe um, try a different version of a package or maybe they recommend you turn some feature on or off. Um, it would be really helpful if you could provide feedback because that will help them to debug the, uh, the issue and then provide a fix for it. So with that said, um, the four steps to testing heaven. First of all, install Ubuntu. So if you've already got Ubuntu and you're going to upgrade to 12.04, that's great. If you've got a clean machine or you want to do a dual boot setup, then, uh, then do a clean install of 12.04. Uh, you need to add the Unity PPA, which is where we put the very latest release of Unity, and update your machine to get all the latest packages and then restart it. We need to run the tests, which I'll show you in uh, in just a minute, and then provide feedback in the form of bug reports and discussion uh, in various places. So the first step, install Ubuntu. Uh, if you don't already have it, it's easy to get. If you just go to releases.ubuntu.com, uh, here you'll find a link to 1204, the precise pangolin, uh, beta 2, which is where we are right now, and you'll find the images, the ISO images down here that you can burn onto a CD or DVD or put onto a USB stick, uh, boot off of that, and then do your installation. Once you've done the install, uh, what I tend to do is then do all the updates, update my system completely so I know I'm fully up to date with whatever's in the archive at that point in time. And then I tend to create a separate user for testing. And there's two reasons why I do this. Um, I'm actually using my production machine right now. Um, and so when I file bugs, I don't really want those bugs to have screenshots showing my own personal data and stuff in them. Um, but also, uh, having a, a separate user, a clean user, means that the uh, arrangement of icons and the look and feel of the desktop and the behavior of the desktop is as we'd expect it to be out of the box and that's really what you're testing is you're testing the system as we ship it not a heavily customized version so create a separate user I've created a user as you can see in the top right called checkbox user and it has to be an administrative user so it has to be able to run sudo um, because the checkbox utility needs to gather some information from the system and some of that requires root level access. Once you've got your system installed, you then need to add the Unity Team PPA and you can find that uh, on the web. It's uh, PPA held on Launchpad and you can see down the bottom of this uh, web page there's loads of packages including Compeers and Unity and all the supporting uh, packages down there. So you simply need to add that PPA, update your system and uh, restart, which is either a logout or a reboot uh, to restart your session. I'll show you what uh, what happens when you uh, when you do this. So if I do sudo apt add apt repository uh, PPA on unity team slash PPA ask me for my password and you can see here it gives you the description of the PPA so you can confirm that that is the one you really need and that matches the description over here on the website 
and you can also see the URL is displayed there and that matches the URL on the website. So that's the right PPA that I'm adding there. Just press enter and it will add that to your sources list and you can then either sudo apt get update and then sudo apt get dist upgrade or alternatively you can just open up your update manager and hit the check button and follow the instructions there. You might well get this pop-up box in uh, update manager that's perfectly normal during a development cycle uh, just follow the instructions to do the uh, upgrade or partial upgrade whatever it prompts you to do. Once you've got to that point as I said restart your session which is either log out and log back in again or just do a clean boot of your machine and then you can start the tests. Now the testing is uh, is really straightforward. We've got a tool that uh, is called Checkbox that we go through to uh, actually perform the tests, and I'll show you that now. So if I just uh, run uh, type Unity in the in the dash, you'll see there's my Unity testing. Now this actually opens by default when you uh, upgrade uh, Unity uh, to the PPA version. You'll actually get a dialog box saying, thanks for running the latest Unity. Uh, please now do some testing with Checkbox. And if you've dismissed that and closed it, then you can easily find it again in the dash uh, just by clicking on the Ubuntu button, typing in Unity, and you'll find Unity testing there. So when you open this up, you'll get a, a bit of instruction. I tend to move this out of the way so uh, it's not uh, in the way of things like the launcher and so on. Gives you some instructions, read those, and then press Next. It then goes off to get some information about your system because that will get submitted at the end of the tests and the developers can then look at that and figure out uh, how well we're doing uh, in regards to the tests passing and failing. Now it gives you a list of all the tests that it's possible for you to run. It is possible to switch some of these off. So for example, I only have one display, so I might turn off the multi-monitor tests. But the one you do need to leave ticked is the general tests. That one's a mandatory set of tests. Uh, the others are optional, but we'd really appreciate it if you ran them all. So basically, just leave them all ticked and then press Next. It then gathers some more information about your system and then we'll start the, uh, the test suite. So the very first one here, it gives me a description of what it thinks I should, uh, I should be seeing. And I have some buttons down here to say, yes, that's what I see, no, it's not, or we can skip that test if it's not appropriate for my system for whatever reason. There's a further information box here. And uh, the important thing to note here is the further information field should only be used in the event that the test fails. If the test succeeds, so for example, in this test, it says log in and ensure Unity starts and is displayed. You should see a panel at the top and a launcher at the left with buttons. So that's a success. I just click yes and press next. If it failed, then I hit no. And then in here, I might put the reason why it failed. Not some great big lengthy tome of text, just a brief line to say what failed in the test. And if you've found a bug in Launchpad, uh, or you filed a new bug in Launchpad, stick the bug number in there as well. But we don't need lots of text in there. We certainly don't need any text if the test passed. And um, I wouldn't also use this as a place to put discussions like, you know, Unity's fantastic, it's the best desktop ever, or, you know, contrary points of view uh, in there. That's superfluous and uh, won't be useful to the developers and it will just be distracting. So simply yes, no, and skip the test, and then move on to the next one. And it's very straightforward. It take you about an hour or so. In the event that you do find a bug, um, the best thing to do is is to try and file it. And the easiest way to file a bug in uh, Ubuntu is to use Ubuntu dash bug, and then the name of the package that the bug is happening in. Now sometimes it's a bit difficult to tell where the bug is happening, whether it's a bug in Unity or Unity 2D or whether it's a bug in Compiz or some other related package. So the quick and easy thing to do is to just do Ubuntu bug Unity if you're running the, the 3D desktop uh, Unity. When you do that, it'll gather loads of information about your system and uh, that will be submitted to Launchpad. Now it may ask you some additional questions uh, because some types of bugs need further information about the kind of video card you have and, and other environment things to do with your computer. So it might ask you a bunch of further questions. So you know, you basically just answer these questions 
and then hit send. You'll notice my little Firefox icon shaking and a little blue tick next to it. So if I click on that, you'll see it's uploaded some data to uh, Launchpad. And after a few seconds, it's going to give me the opportunity to type in a description, a one-line description of the bug that I've encountered. So I haven't actually left um, the checkbox tool. That's still running down here. And I can come back and do my additional tests once I've filed this bug. And I can put the bug number, if I find one or if I report a bug, I can put the bug number in there and carry on with my tests. It's pretty straightforward. So we'll just wait for uh, Launchpad to process the stuff that I've uploaded. Uh, shouldn't take too long. While that's doing that, I'll just summarize what we've just done. So we're finding existing bugs or updating existing bugs and filing new bugs if we find them. If there are no other bugs that identify exactly the problem we're having, then uh, file a new bug with Ubuntu dash bug and then the name of the package. If you want some help, you can come and join the developers on the IRC channel, hash Ubuntu-Unity on Freenode. And there's also a discussion mailing list on Launchpad, which is useful if you have uh, uh, questions or comments or suggestions on how we can improve uh, Unity and the Ubuntu desktop. Uh, the checkbox tool isn't the place to put those kind of discussions. Uh, the mailing list is probably the best place to, uh, to do that. So let's go back and see if... Uh, Launchpad is finished, processing my data, it has. So now I could say something like uh, launcher crashes when dragging icons to it, or something like that. Whatever I've experienced, you give a one line description that is a summary of what the, the problem is. And when you hit next, Launchpad will go and try and match those words against existing bugs. And this isn't um, always perfect. Sometimes, you know, people have different ways of expressing a bug. So uh, it doesn't always find the right bug. Um, so, you know, we can look through these and uh, do any of those descriptions match what I've, uh, what I've experienced. And, and also you can get clues by the date. You know, some of these might be bugs dating back like four years or something. So they might not be appropriate. And if you start seeing ones that have, uh, have been very recently updated, then, you know, that might give you a clue that uh, it's something active and other people have got that, that kind of bug. But you can actually just view the bug by clicking the blue link and it will open in a new tab. And you can then see the description and figure out if the bug is what you're experiencing. If it is, then you simply open the bug that relates to the problem you're having and hit the little yellow pencil up here and say, yes, it affects me. If there's any supplemental information that's not already been captured, then you can add that as a comment down at the bottom of the bug. If none of these match the uh, experience you're having, then you just say, no, I need to report a new bug. And then you need to put some more detail in this field. Now, the, the amount of detail you need in here um, varies, but usually you need to put enough in there that describes to someone exactly what happens and how you can reproduce the problem. So you can say, while running checkbox tests, um, I press this button and that button, and this was the result, but I expected this other thing to happen. Um, and uh, if you can get a screenshot or a video of uh, what happened, that's sometimes uh, very helpful as well. And that can be attached down here uh, as an attachment onto the, uh, the bug report. Or alternatively, you can upload a video somewhere like YouTube or whatever, and then put a link in your bug report. And that's very helpful for the developers who maybe don't see the same uh, problem that you're seeing. So that's the very straightforward way to uh, file a bug uh, in Ubuntu and uh, then carry on with your checkbooks tests. When you get to the very end, um, it will ask you for your Launchpad user ID, your email address that uh, you use to sign into Launchpad. Just fill that in, hit submit, and your test results will go off to the developers and they can start looking at those. And that will be super helpful. I hope that's been useful and uh, happy testing. Thanks for watching.